The Uproc token generation event is coming tomorrow. This is something I'm very, very bullish on. This is a deep in project, which I actually think has hugely massive potential. However, ultimately people just want number to go up and I have no idea right now in the choppy market, how it's gonna look. This for me is a longer term hold. So Uproc is gonna have their launch tomorrow, 30th, 4 p.m. UTC. And there's a few things that I'll cover for this. If you wanna learn more, you can go and watch this YouTube video here. And then if you go to the link, let's just go through a couple of things. So let's just quickly connect a wallet here, self layer, go with self layer, connect here. Now I don't think I had any dupe in here, so I wasn't actually voting. Now it doesn't matter if you had dupe and didn't vote for them, you'll still get some uproc tokens. You're looking at something quite small, like 10 tokens. If you voted for them in both rounds, you'll get more. If you have a D Pioneers NFT pre-ordered, you'll get more as well. If you have been using Uproc on your phone, then that has a different vesting schedule, basically 10% on TGE, and then 90% basically gets released to you. In that case, you don't have to worry about anything other than on day of launch, you need to go and withdraw it, and then you can hold it, sell it, do whatever you like. Now, full little bit of transparency with Uproc. They asked me to do their live streams. So I have a pretty good overview of this project. In fact, probably the most research project I've ever done. Personally, I'm very bullish on them. However, right now, I kind of see that tokens go up briefly and then down, and then they need to gain momentum. But overall, I think Deepin has a major place in this cycle, and I definitely like Deepin. Uproc is also launching their token at a $40 million market cap. So very, very low for Deepin, but we'll come to that quickly later. So essentially, when you wanna go and claim your UPT, you claim it here, you can see the current price, it will start at four cents. And then as soon as they fill up the entire pool, it will be 17 cents. Right now, if you wanted to go and sell this on Wales market, you can get around 10 cents or something like that. There's gonna be a lot of confusion regarding Uproc. That's mostly because the majority of the users are Web2 users, which is why I'm also bullish on it. It basically pulls in a lot of Web2 users into Web3. And then to educate those users, it just takes a little bit extra time. So basically it's four cents. And what's really, really cool about this is this is actually the price that VCs got in at. So the VCs are not making a multiple, which is normally very, very common on token generation event. As an example, let's say a VC gets it at one cent, then it'll probably launch at five cents. They're already gonna make some sort of five X or something like that. As we go along, we can see the price going up and up and up. So if you're buying in this time, then you're gonna go and get more UPT for less price. Now, if you really want to, you can go set up a DCA or a limit order. So I'll give you an example. I'm just gonna do a small one here. We'll just go with like, $30 because I'm gonna use money for something else. And what is it? Minimum 30 USD per order required. Okay, it's gone up and up. We'll go with 60 then, and we'll go with every minute. We're gonna do a max price here as well of like 0.1, so like 10 cents. It says your DCA will most likely not fill, but that's just an automatic message. Maybe it won't. There is a small fee for using this, and we'll start DCA, and then we'll approve this. Tomorrow the launch will happen and then on Friday I'll know if it filled and then I can tell you if it filled. So that's one option you can do. Probably the better option though is to use Meteora's bot. So right here, if you click view the pool on Meteora, we have this pool right here, UPT USDC. We can do this in a couple of ways. So I'll show you them both. And once again, things are timestamped. So if you're not interested, that's completely fine. So essentially we can go and deposit. I don't have a lot of USDC here. So this is just a tutorial account. I'll probably go on with a couple of thousand dollars with my main accounts and I'll approve. And this is going into the sniper bot. So the first transaction to actually buy off the curve will be this liquidity pool. If a lot of people wanted this token, the max vault cap is 5 million USDC. Currently there's half a million dollars worth of USDC that is just ready to buy off the curve. And how this works is it buys off the curve and then for one day it's locked and then it starts to vest over, well you can see here, 5.71 days. But I think my understanding is it's like a one day lock and then five days of vesting after that. But I'm not entirely sure with this and this is the first time that this has ever been used. So I could have it slightly wrong because I can understand that there's a one day lock and then a slow vest of the tokens, but over 5.71 days, don't quite get that. What we could potentially do is we can find out when it's gonna happen. This is the block. What we could potentially do is work out when this block was actually destined to happen. But remember, a block is not always gonna be the exact amount of time. So the takeaway is if you think UPT has value and you want some, like I do, then you can go and use this. If you don't plan on trying to flip it, and sell it really, really quickly, then this could be working out for you. And the reason why this vault is so important is because typically all that would happen is snipers would come in, they would snipe the supply and they'll just start dumping it. And there are very, very famous snipers that would make like a million dollars in a couple of hours work. 
and all they're doing is just dumping on the community. And of course, the community are the people that are going to be buying the token, loving the token, supporting the project, getting their friends involved, etc. So this is amazing, and I haven't seen any other blockchain ship anything like this ever. Just keep in mind that you won't be getting the UPT back, and it will be an estimate of the UPT you're going to get. You're not going to get it until the end of the vesting period. And I'm also not entirely sure if you get like a little bit every single day, but that is my assumption, and I could be wrong. I will find out though, and I'll put it into a short video or onto a tweet. Now the other other option that you may be keen to do is actually to add liquidity. So we go and add some liquidity. We can just add some USDC. So as an example, we go with like all of this and we could start say the price here and we could start the price like this. I'm not going to start the price like that because that just doesn't make sense. That's essentially if it goes down lower. So maybe we're not going to get in quite as low as 0.04 and let's see how high we can get this. Okay, clearly not what I was after there. Maybe nine cents. Okay, not quite there because we've got a limitation of 69 bins. Meteor is a little bit more confusing. That's 60. Okay, so this is 69 bins. So if we wanted to, we could go and add some USDC in here. Now what we could normally do, but we can't do on this occasion for some reason is add liquidity. So as an example, we could add liquidity here. And if this pool was tradable, we could put it in there and would be ready to one, buy off the curve, but also generate actual trading fees. We cannot do that right now, which is quite confusing as to why. I'm not going to worry about it, however. I'll just try and cover when we can actually do that. Because trying to generate some extra UPT or USDC by getting a decent amount of volume in maybe the first few hours, that can get a decent amount of return as well. If everything I just said on that is too confusing, let me know. I'll see if I can push out another video. Anyway, in the meantime, the up rock bonus is pretty decent here. And if you look at this, and if you're looking at your allocation of 10 tokens, and you're thinking maybe it's 4 cents, you're getting 40 cents worth of tokens, there will be a tendency, and I can definitely understand it. Your tendency will be to say, essentially, this is not worth the effort. You've got to keep in mind that miners have been making millions of tokens. So by using the app, they have a return. And those tokens have been going out over months. Also, keep in mind that these rewards here, this is just coming from the team. This has nothing to do with active staking rewards. Active staking rewards will come to you in July if you're actively voting with your dupe. And that's covered by Slog right here. So remember, 0.75% of the launch pad fees, because it's 1%, the actual 0.75 or 75% of that, that will go for active staking rewards, and then 25% of that 1% will go to the dupe team. Now with Uprockers, there's a decent amount of hype, and of course, there's gonna be some scammers. So this one here is a scam. If you go and use a DeFi Llama extension, it will actually point it out very easily that it's a scam post. So make sure you're just following any official links. And for anybody that's actually using the app, you can jump into Discord and you can work out how to withdraw it. You can only start to withdraw your UPT once token generation event has started. But you can follow this here from Jussie in the meantime. Now, of course, the thing you want to ask is, what will the Uprock token be worth? And I have no idea. I can see some smart people wanting to accumulate some, such as NFT Doctor. And another thing that we can do to try and get some sort of comparison is we can go to CoinGecko.com and go to Categories. Then from here, the easiest thing is just to search for DPIN, click on this category, and then we need to see if there's anything similar. Then we can work it out based on maybe market cap. Now, this just gives us some sort of potential prediction. So I don't even understand what a lot of these are. But let's just say it's 150. Maybe it gets to, you know, ocean, this kind of level. This is a deep in project. We can see the fully diluted valuation, which people tend to ignore and will ignore this now as well. But maybe just the market cap, the circulating market cap. There'll be more uproc tokens coming onto the market, but let's say it gets here within six months, which may or may not happen. It's starting at a market cap of $40 million and at 10 cents, it's worth $100 million. Now, probably the thing that you want me to actually cover is what price would it go to? What's a prediction? And I can't give you a prediction because one, it'd be construed as financial advice quite often. And two, typically these tokens, they're going to have, you know, periods of up, periods of down early on. And as this team actually builds more, partners more, establishes themselves firmly in the deep end market, or whatever market they may be in, that's when the tokenomics actually look good and the value can start to go up. The reason why I'm very bullish on Uprock is because it's actually bringing in decent number of Web2 users. So these people all need a little bit of time to actually kind of get trained up on how to use a wallet, what to do, how to avoid scams, how to stay safe. But either way, they're providing this data and this data has value. Also, just to be clear, Uprock is in an early stage. When it comes to what they're doing, as far as I'm aware, they are ahead of the game. You may know Grass, and Grass is certainly something that you should use as well. But I do think Uprock has a competitive advantage over Grass because it's on your mobile phone and everyone essentially has a mobile phone. So you get all these different data points. Once you have millions of people, it's far easier to go and sell that data, generate that revenue, and then the UPT has that kind of token value. 
But just keep in mind with Uproc, the market cap is 40 million on launch and up to 170 million. All I know is that I'm buying some and I'm holding some, I'm using the app and I think it has really good fundamentals. So that's Uproc. If it interests you, get involved. That's all, catch you in the next video.